Oh, bank transfers. Now, don't get me started on bank transfers. In reality, it's a straightforward event, isn't it? You move money from one bank account to another. But in QuickBooks Online, for whatever reason, it's always been a bane of contention. But I think they found a way to solve that issue. Stay tuned as we go and explore the new way in which bank transfers can be achieved. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of accounts here at Boffix. Now, today's video has all about, been about one of those elements that's really frustrated me in the past about QuickBooks Online, and that's the way it's been dealing with bank transactions in the past. Now, as I said in the intro, bank transactions shouldn't be too difficult, should it? At the end of the day, the premise is you've transferred some money from one bank account and you've put it into another bank account. So if you're just moving one bank account to another, then I can't really see what the problem could have been. But unfortunately, the way that QuickBooks is built and the way that it's done, especially that whole matching versus add-in, bank transfers used to be an area that caused major, major issues and could be one of the main reasons why your bank account could currently not be balanced because a bank transfer hadn't been accounted for properly. You see, in the worst case scenario, in the old way of doing it, you would add the first bank transfer and then you would add the second transfer without matching it therefore a, basically getting a double counted version of that said bank transfer and especially if you're trying to utilize rules and trying to use rules to be clever because what rules are designed to do to save you time and to be efficient then you're in a position where a long for the longest time bank transfers just weren't working as intended now, though, they've got this new way of doing bank transfers, and I'm really, really liking it. Let's have a look, and let's see how that can probably save you from making a whole load of issues. Let's have a look. Okay, let's look about what we've got in front of me. So in front of me at the moment is the old way of bank transfers. You would just go and choose bank transfer at the top, so record as transfer. Select what account you want to go to, and then basically press add. And the idea was that that would then cleverly go to the next one and give you the chance to match it. Now, the problem being that maybe you used a rule on the other previous one, maybe it wasn't quite updated. I'm sure you've all been in that position where the intention was to then to match it, but it hasn't matched and it's caused issues. Well, let's look at the new way of approaching it. As we can scroll up here, here is a legitimate bank transfer and we're going from one bank account to another. And I'm, bear in mind at this point in time, I'm on the full review tab and the full review is telling me that they found this paired with another transaction option. And what it's saying is that it's found this transaction and it gives me the option to unpair if I need to, or I can pay record as transfer. And it's prompted me to do that automatically. I've not done anything differently. The cool thing is if I jump into the other bank account and I have a look, well, this again, full review tab, and without me doing anything, is pairing to the of another transaction automatically. So the key thing here is without you having to add the transaction in from full review to categorized, the transaction is automatically being spotted. And we've seen this as a bit of a trend happening in QuickBooks, haven't we? If you think about the way that the receipt capture works and the fact that it's starting to look at the full review section and trying to find transactions in there and preempt them before you're ready to post them and even attach documents in certain circumstances, that's what's happening here. What's happening here is before I've even gone into review and added the transaction, QuickBooks is already thinking and going, you know what? I've seen that transaction before. That matches with this transaction and let's add them together. So let's see what happens if I add one and see what happens to the other. So I'm going to go back to my original bank account now. I'm going to go in there and it's prompting me. I mean, it's telling me here, record as transfer. Well, let's try and see what happens if I give that an option. Well, as expected on this side of things, everything's all been done as expected. Jump into my savings account and notice how that transaction's automatically been posted as well. So it's dealing with both of them at the same time. So you post one and the other one gets posted. Amazing. All right, let's have a, let's have a see what's actually happened in the categorized element, um, where you can see if I was to go into date order in that transfer and look at that transfer there. 
The transaction that's been created is the same transaction as normal. So it's just created that normal transfer for me, but it has um, matched on here both sides of it. So it's applied to the transfer to online banking transfers, first of the first, first of the first, and then the two different accounts. So one of them, it's a debit, one of it's a credit, and those monies have come through automatically. That is absolutely awesome. Now, it'll be interesting to know if I was to undo one, what would happen? So I'm back in here. So it's found the one match. That's how it used to work, if you remember. And if I click into it, it's giving you a little bit more detail, but yeah, it's saying that we found this transfer here. But if I was to undo the other one, what's happened here? So it's not picked it up yet. Oh, that's interesting. So if we undo the transactions, it doesn't seem to understand. Now, if I put that as a recall, ah, okay, 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 okay. So the way that this works is this will only find this transaction if you've selected record as transaction. As soon as you record as transaction, that's when it finds it. That's when it goes, ah, okay, you're thinking this transaction's a, um, a recorded transaction. Let's try and do it. Now, let's see if we can get rules in play here. So I'm not going to um, auto add it first, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rule based on this one. And I'm going to say that basically if this tax money transfer, let's not do the fast transfer element of it. And we're going to do rule. Let's do transfer rule test. So handy little test rule one here. Okay. Now at the moment, if I leave it as a transaction to deposit, I know nothing special is going to happen. It's just going to sit there. But if I was to put it as a transfer, well, let's see what happens. Now, originally, I'm not going to auto add. Let's press save. Let's see what happens. So the rule's been applied. And it's gone into pair with another transaction. And on the other side, because we haven't got the rule on there, so record as transfer. Okay. It's gone through from there. So, again, only if they're both set as record to transfer will this new feature kick into play. But let's take this one step further and let's see what happens if we put auto add on. Is it possible? Okay, what about the other side? Yeah. So the other side seems to keep reverting back to categorize. Again, move into record transfer and we're fine, it finds it. But this one now. The rules applied to it, so it's automatically going to fit. When you add a record, this transfer going in now, and you'll see this impact in both accounts. So the big, uh, the big test then is going to be that if I go into the rule and do auto add, is it going to add both of them? Let's find out. So it's added that transaction as we expect. It didn't add it. Okay. So on the face of it then, this looks like a really, really useful feature. Few limitations, it looks like the rules situation isn't quite gonna work. Personally, for rules, you might wanna think about using a Contra account, so you could Contra it off to each side of it. As long as that Contra account goes down to zero, you can have no problems, but it means that your bank account won't ever be out, which is the biggest, biggest benefit. The one disadvantage of this particular new setting, you can understand why it's doing this way, is that both of them need to be on a on a recorder's transfer for that to work. Now, as QuickBooks starts to learn your figures and learn your, your categorization, it should be able to see that and it should be able to automatically apply a transfer to those items, giving you that prompt as you go forward. So it isn't perfect, but it is so much better than the system it was before. And I absolutely love the fact that it adds both of them at the same time, removing that massive, massive headache of, you know, not going in and matching it and adding it again and double counting the transfer. So I'm really happy with that. I think that works really, really well. Great thumbs up from me on this one. I think this is going to help a lot of people out there. This makes transferring so much more simplistic, saves some time, and more importantly, it's more accurate this way, which I'm happy to see. I'm gonna have a bit of a play around with it a little bit more and probably let you know if I can find a way to make sure we can use rules a bit more efficiently with it. 
But overall, really happy with this, more than happy than, to be honest. And I'm really looking forward to having a go with it uh, properly going forward. So yeah, what do you think? Let me know below. It was a long time coming, but it was definitely a huge change and I definitely don't want to be moving back. From what I can tell, this isn't live in every single license out there at the moment. My guess is about 50% of them at the time of recording are live, but this is the sort of thing that I'm, I'm sure is going to come in a lot sooner, a lot quicker. There was an update from this in the American product. Uh, over at the American product, they talked about how this is how it used to look, and this is how it now looks. So they've gone a little bit different to us, which is interesting. So either this is the, what we've got now is the involvement of what that now looks like and what that is going forward, or something something even more, something else has changed as well. Coming soon though, when there's a high confidence, QuickBooks will automatically match deposit process by QuickBooks payments, and this could save you two hours per month. I love the option to easily review automated matches and turn off auto matching if you prefer to reconcile manage it man manually. So don't fret, by the looks of it, there does look like there's an opportunity for that automation to come back soon. So yes, please, on that one, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that works. Brilliant. Well, let me know in the comments below. What do you think to this change? Very small, but very significant in my opinion. Um, definitely a change for the good. Definitely a change for the better. And let me know in your in the comments below what you think to it. And if there's any other kind of little niggly things like this that you think should get priority over changing next. My name's been Aaron Patrick. This video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. And thank you so much, every single one of you out there. We hit 5,000 subscribers not long ago, and that, that number just keeps going and going and going, which is mental. So thank you so much, each and every one of you who subscribed, each and every one who's watched, and I'm sure I'll make sure that I repay you in kind by making sure I get you the best videos out there on QuickBooks Online. My name is Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video, and I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.